Welcome, everybody. I'm Mike Goodpaster with the Grilling True Sports Network. Today, we're looking at our college football prediction show. Today, we're looking at Tennessee and the Volunteers. We'll go to Alabama to face the Crimson Tide in a game that has huge implications. Alabama looks not quite right, but still in the playoff hunt. They're eight and a half point favorites here against Tennessee. Make sure you check out BetMGM for the best sports book for betting on Alabama versus Tennessee. You can click on the link in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification on YouTube, and follow me at Grueling Truth. All right, guys, let's just go ahead. Let's get this kicked off. Does Alabama look right to you right now? I mean, the national narrative is that it's a special defense playing at a national title level. Now, quarterback Jalen Milrow trying to find his groove. And the team is careening, careening towards an SEC championship, but it's still the team that lost to Texas by 10 at home. You know, they struggled to beat South Florida when Monroe got benched. So the national narrative is it's a championship defense, but not a championship offense. Now, USF, Mississippi State, Arkansas, none of them are that great. And the jury's still out kind of on Ole Miss and Texas A&M. The Aggies' best hit when at home was over at Auburn, and the Rebels still haven't made a tackle in the 55-49 win over a badly flawed LSU team. But give credit where credit is due. Alabama really is playing better. The front is holding up well. Milrow is different since, since the Texas loss, and it hasn't faced an offense like Tennessee's. But it's more than that. Texas A&M's defense in front of, is fantastic. And Alabama couldn't do much of anything to run on it. Tennessee's defensive front can be pounded on a bit, but it's amazing at, go at getting into the backfield. They just don't stop the run, but they can get after the quarterback. Now, despite being run on, it ate up South Carolina's O-line in key moments and stuffed the Texas A&M ground game. The Volunteers' defense will be solid, but it's the other side that should give the Tide problems. The Tennessee ground game has kicked it in, ripping up close to 800 yards over the last three weeks as a loss to the Gators. As long as Joe Milton is making his third down throws and the offense is keeping the tie D on its heels, Tennessee's got a shot to straight up win this game. Now, when we look at the Alabama side, does Tennessee really look right to you? It's certainly not the high-flying fun show it was at, was throughout last season. And a lot of people expect it to be this year, but that might not be a bad thing in this situation. It's still operating at top speed with great tempo. Time of possession doesn't exist to this bunch. And the running game is amazing. But the passing game is missing that devastating punch. It's fine. Quarterback Joe Milton's fine. The offensive balance is fine. But it has to be something special, like Texas special. You know, against this Alabama D. And no, it's not the 2011 Bama defense or anything like that, but it's eating up the run. That rain-soaked win against USF was a bit of a moment that seemed to kick this team's butt into gear, giving up a season-high 171 yards. And it took a Quinn Ewers 349 passing day with clutch throw after clutch throw to pull out the win for Texas. Can Milton do that? He wasn't the problem against Florida, but he also didn't step up and take over when the running game got stuffed. Milton will hit a bit, few big throws in this game. You know, I mean, Jackson darts of Ole Miss, Texas A&M's Max Johnson did that. But he's going to have to do more than just hit a few big throws. Now, Tennessee is 5-0 and this year when running for over 160 yards. And it's 14-0 to the last 14 times it hit that mark. It ran for 182 on Bama last year, by the way. It's three and two when since the start of 2022, it hasn't. Sort of like the Arkansas game, I think Alabama will come out hot, but the offensive line will get a push right away and the team will get up fast. It's sort of like the Arkansas game because I think Tennessee is a lot better than Arkansas. All of a sudden, with 10 minutes left on the clock, the score is going to be tight. The Tennessee defensive front will bother Milrow. It won't be a brick wall. But it will get to him enough to make him hurry a few throws more than what he might like. 
He'll connect on two big plays to open things up, but he won't connect on everything like Graham Mertz did in Florida's victory over the Vols. This game is going to be a great game. It's going to be a shift of momentum back and forth. I think Alabama will win this game, but in the end, eight and a half points is too much here. I'm going to take Tennessee in the points. I think Alabama wins this game something like 27-20, 24-20. So I'm going to take the eight and a half points. I'm going to bet Tennessee. I'm going to be real happy at about 7 o'clock in the afternoon because I'm going to cash that ticket in. And I'm going to go to BetMGM to cash that ticket in because it's the best sports book to bet college football on. Make sure you check the click the link description below in the YouTube video. Follow me at Grueling Truth. But for now, I'm Mike Goodpaster. You've been watching and listening to The Grueling Truth, where the legends speak.